My name is Lulu Fichter. Um, I've been in the league for, um, I think this is my 11th year for clay. I started um, clay when I was nine. My, um, my mother asked me if I wanted to take an art class and I said, um, sure, I wanted to take woodworking. And she told me that the woodworking was full. Um, and how about clay? Like, okay, so that's 40 plus years. Um, and I've done the whole gamut. I've done studio pottery. Um, done. Um, I had my own um, uh, production pottery business. When you walk around my studio, you see I have all, like collections of all kinds of things um, that inspire me in my work. I have all my little parts around of all kinds of things. My glass beads and my um, little sculptural forms. Some which are, I make specifically to become necklaces. Once you're juried in to the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen, you can, you can be at, their, at the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen's um, annual fair, craft fair. And so I did that and it, was, it just was so wonderful. I'd never done a show of that caliber um, with that many people coming to see my work. I put um, the pieces um, in the river for about two months. This is porcelain and it's been high fire to cone six. Um, uh, and that's a, 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 about 2200 degrees. And it's, um, it's vitrified, but there must be something about the texture um, which allows things that are in the river, um, whether it's minerals or tannins or ookie booky, I'm not really sure, um, kind of um, latches on and doesn't come off. I'll take one out that's been in here for a little while. So this piece is a good example of what happens when you put it in the river. And I, I, it, they, sit like, they sit like this, completely immersed in the water, but they're sitting in the silt. So this, this would be the silt line. What I like, although I like them all, but is when it gets like this honey color in there, and I think that that's from iron. I used to say that they were dragon bones because nobody knows what the heck a dragon bone looks like, but, um, um, but I wanted them to look like they used to be something that was alive, bones or something of, of um, some unidentifiable creature.